Okay, so today I'm going to take you through the process of me designing this Chris Hero shirt. And it was inspired by these old peachy folders that we used to have in, in school. But here is the peachy folder. And I'm sure you guys drew and doodled all over those things. They were so fun to draw on. My favorite thing to do was draw fart gas coming out of that guy tackling number 10. Anyway, okay, shall we? Let's get into it. So right away, I knew what I wanted to do with this thing. Um, Chris Hero is a big fan of like basketball and a bunch of different sports and a huge fan of wrestling in general. Um, but I wanted to give it kind of a, a sporty feel without like just snaking like an old um, logo from a team. So I thought, oh, well, everybody had these things or a lot of people had these folders in you know elementary school high school so i took three different of my favorite um moves that he has in his move set and i uh and i illustrated them i found like youtube videos boom 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 and then i what i did was i took those things and then i added them in while i'm looking at the reference right i'm like constantly looking at the reference and then the illustration feels close to the reference and then I continued on. I took the logo from the peachy all season portfolio and I wanted that in the uh, that circular emblem. And I, of course, it's only going to be like two colors the black and that brown. And then I want it to feel weathered also. So here I'm making sure that, you know, these these inks feel accurate to the inks that are on the original. And to do that, you kind of, you have to stretch your style a little bit, which is, it's kind of hard for me um, to stretch my style in that way, because I, I have like a very routine way of going through things, knocking out um, projects. But this turned out pretty cool. And I'll show like a higher resolution version of the, of the finish. So then, Figuring out the faces was interesting because the, the illustrator who initially did this illustration, he has a very like bold comic style of doing things and I don't do it that way. I, I really have to like r figure out all my anatomy first. And uh, one of the things about this is that I didn't really have photo reference because of the YouTube pictures that I found, you know, or the YouTube videos that I made my sketches from. They were very, really, really blurry, so I had to really work out the anatomy and then go off of that as my photo reference. I'm pretty sure that the um, initial illustrator who did this used photo reference, just from the way that the, the illustrations are. So then I had to kind of think that way, like, what would I do if I was going to use a photo reference, right? So then we come down here. This is a cool hold that he uses. Um, and getting the, the values to read right and kind of like allow the value to determine what you're going to see was really fun to do. It was a, a stretch in kind of designing and uh, making it feel correct. So now all that, all the illustration stuff is pretty much done. And I wanted to give it kind of a, an overall um, noise and kind of like broken up pattern um, as though like the printing was kind of messed up. Let me go back over the lettering. The lettering needed to be tightened up here just to feel closer to the original. Adding all the little bits and pieces in. And then, yeah, that's the finish. So um, here is a higher resolution of what the finish is. Got a little bit more textural stuff going on. You see there's little, if you look closely at the, uh, at these folders, there's little bits that are a little bit darker 
and then little parts that are a little lighter as though like a little bit more ink had bled in or sat and pooled into that little that little piece so that's where I was going with that and uh, yeah that's the shirt at this point it should be available on pro wrestling tees on Chris Hero's shop and look I even signed my name like the guy here's the image of the let's see down at the bottom he signed his name so I figured I mean this could be the first shirt that I do for a wrestler where I sign my name since you can't really tell what it says anyway all right guys take it easy I'll see you